Hello everyone. Today at DrupalFreelanceCoders.com, I will be showing you how to install the CK Finder. Now you might be asking, how does the CK Finder help us? Now, the CK Finder is a program which helps us to upload images on our website. So, usually the HTML editor which we have, uh, let me show you over here. It has all the options uh, to format the text or add tables, paragraphs, align the text, make it bold, etc. But when we go to upload an image from our PC locally, there is no option over here. Although it, it says image, uh, it asks us to give us a URL or a website link. But locally from our PC, we don't have an option to upload an image or a file. So in that case, what we need to do is install the CK Finder. For that, we have to go to the CK Finder website, which is ckfinder.com, and click on the download tab. Over here, we have uh, the zip version or the compressed file for different um, languages like PHP, Java, ASP, etc. And we need to select on the PHP tab. Now, from here, I will download the zip file. Um, but I've already done this uh, to save time. I've downloaded this to the destination folder. Please note, it is available in c colon slash exam slash htdoc slash drupal2, which is my website folder here. Sites all, uh, sorry, slides slash all slash module slash ck editor. So I have placed uh, the zip file over here, ck finder and I have extracted it over here itself so this is my folder CK Finder it is inside the CK Editor folder so once this is done <coughs> we have a few more steps which we need to do one is that if you go back to CK Editor you will find a readme text file so you need to open that here I have opened it in Dreamweaver and it gives us a few instructions on what we need to do first we need to do is open up the config file uh, which is available in CK Finder config and open it in Dreamweaver then we need to content uh, sorry we need to comment this text or remove it function check authentication return false so this this is the context which need to remove this is the code we need to remove so let me delete this after that uh, we need uh, to copy another line which is uh, go back to the readme file there is one line which is require once slash 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 this line we need to copy it below base directory resolve URL so let's go back to the config file and uh, find out the big yes here it is we need to add this here fine so um, let me just revise the steps one is uh, we have a code called check authentication remove the check authentication function and second is we have to add this line called require once <coughs> just below the dollar base directory so I have done that here I've added this line here and now let me save this <coughs> So once we have saved the changes in the config.php file, we need uh, to go back to the sites folder and uh, click on default, sites default and click on the settings.php file. Now we have to edit the settings.php file. For that first, we have to change the properties. It is always in the read only mode. Um, uh, we need to unselect this. Um, I had uh, re recently made some changes so it is not read only but by default it is read only and it should be that way for security reasons now open this in Dreamweaver now in the settings.php we need to make one change which is go to the code uh, called dollar underscore cookie I'm sorry dollar cookie underscore domain so uncomment this there will be a comment here uncomment this and specify the URL of your website since I'm working locally on the 
on my PC I've uh, mentioned it as um, I have written the code as localhost but you need to input the URL of your website for example if my website is drupalfreelancecoders.com I need to mention that then save this file once I've done this <coughs> let me go back to the modules page then go down to CK editor and go to permissions if the CK finder is successfully installed it will show us this option in uh, CK editor which is CK finder access so I need to give permissions to the administrator and authenticated user if I have other users here since I'm the only user in my website I'm going to choose this then save this save the permissions yes once this is done let me go back to CK editor module and configure it further configure the browser settings that is editor configure <coughs> then I will uh, edit the filtered HTML because that is what we will be using here to avoid a uh, risk and ensure the security of a website then go to file browser settings so file browser type I'll choose as CK finder file browser image dialog box CK finder and flash dialog window CK finder so this is done then save this once this is done now let me add content and let me see the difference now so let me refresh this page once. now let me go to image so this is the tab which I will see now which I had not seen previously that is the upload button so I can choose a file from here choose any of these files and upload it send it to the server I can also click on the browse button and there is the upload option here which will uh, give me the file structure of my PC locally if I click on add files it shows me the file structure of my PC locally so these are the uh, available options we have once we click on the I'm um, sorry once we install the CK finder and also add some content here I suppose CK finder licensing let me add this content here And let me add a title to this chest 3389 let me save this so this is my article with my image now this one more thing which I need to tell you which I've already mentioned in my IMCE module video that um, for the image display there's one more tag which I need to add uh, since HTML uh, since we are using filtered HTML here and uh, HTML tags are limited so we need to change that and add the IMG tag or else my image won't show so for that I need to go to content authoring and go to text formats go to filtered HTML there as you can see we have limit allowed HTML tags so over here in the limit we have to add the IMG tag since I've already added the IMG tag here so my image is displaying please note that if this is not added the image won't show for the filtered HTML format so you have to keep that in mind but uh, there's one more thing I wanted to add um, add is um, in the settings.php file um, we have only changed dollar cookie underscore domain now for live website sometimes you are locked out so in case you're locked out please remember to change and comment this this code mm, dollar base underscore URL so remove the hash here and mention the website address and with this um, your uh, CK finder will be installed properly without any hassles and so with this uh, we come to the end of the tutorial please do visit us again at drupalfreelancecoders.com thank you